This is Earth Divine 360, where you can get your tower readings and your spirituality on. And you can sip, you can relax, you can just unwind, listen to the soothing sound of my voice as I read your cards and calm your mind, soothe your energy. Earth Divine 360, please like, share, subscribe. Prosperity and abundance is what we come to bring to you. This is what I'm all about. Hello. Basically, this reading was supposed to be for Capricorns, but I'm hearing Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. So let's see what's going on for Aquarius. what's going on for Aquarius this reading was originally for my Capricorns but I keep hearing Aquarius energy coming in like it's an eager kind of energy like almost like really impatient like there is something that Aquarius needs to hear at this time I'm feeling like you guys are going through something and it's like you need help or you need a lot of assistance from the universe is what I'm feeling and what I'm hearing. So for some of you, Aquarius, this is pertaining to money. Or for some of you, I'm feeling like you're working so hard, but you have no idea. Like, like you're working so hard, but you're not seeing the benefits of what you're working for. But for some of you, Aquarians, no matter where you have Aquarius placed in your chart, your money is coming in. Hello, everybody. Um, your money is coming in. You've been working hard on something. Um, there's some kind of domestic affairs going on, Aquarius, within the household, within your family. Um, let's see what's going on with that. Because could that be what's really draining out Aquarius? There's some kind of secrecy going on um, within the relationship especially in a household for some of you this is like on a job a career but mainly this is like with a family member or within your family dynamic there's something something that was you know <laughs> for some of you i feel like you feel like you know something but you don't have the proof yet and that's what's holding you back with whatever it is that's going on within this family structure let me see further, Aquarius. Thank you for all the love and support, everyone. What's going on in this family? I was getting ready to say, man, some of you are feeling like really tired. Really tired. And here, here it is, the rest and rejuvenation card. Hmm. 
like Aquarius like I want to say like for some of you you may be feeling like extremely tired extremely sleepy and it is, it is very important for you to get your rest at this time because that's where you're going to find the answers to whatever it is your intuition is telling you but you're not you don't have the proof um take it easy Aquarius take this time to focus on yourself focus on yourself Aquarius try not to focus on everybody else and what whatever this chaotic crap is chaotic energy that I'm feeling something that is draining you out Aquarius try not to focus so much on that try to focus more on yourself because the answers that you're looking for are all within the next card is the journey card so I'm feeling like this is a spiritual journey that Aquarius is going on and it's not going to be in a physical world where you're going to get your answers from Aquarius. This, The answers that you're looking for, whatever it is that you're seeking is in that other realm. The realm where we are able to meditate, when we're able to sleep and we're able to quiet the mind. For some of you that are in a relationship, let me see. I'm also hearing like destroy, like maybe somebody is trying to destroy something of yours or you feel like you have destroyed something. Aquarius, I feel like a lot is going on for you guys. Like it's it's so many different things, so many different voices, so many, so many different types of things going on. That is why it is so important for you guys to rest at this time, okay? For some of you Aquarius, it could be like you're not on the same path, you know, as your partner. And that could, it could really, you know, alter the passion that you have with this person. What needs to be done to fix this relationship for Aquarius? <clears throat> And when I say same path, I'm talking about like the same spiritual path as your partner, okay? That is what I mean, Aquarius. Same spiritual path, you know, being yoked. Okay, maybe somebody is trying to control you, Aquarius. Maybe this is you trying to control things within your relationship, okay? But there may be somebody trying to control something here. What is this that they're trying to control? Whoa. What is this? Hmm. For some of you Aquarius, it's like <laughs> you may be trapped by someone. This person has you trapped. And maybe they want to hold you down with... Um, children or for some of you they want you all to themselves and that is the controlling thing like you're beautiful Aquarius and they're just this person is just trying to keep you to themselves for some of you they want to impregnate you and maybe you know it's you know everybody has their own opinion and of things maybe they want to keep you like pregnant I, I'm hearing like barefoot and pregnant for some of you but they want to control you but you need to remember, you are in control of your own life, Aquarius. Also, for some of you in a relationship and who have family issues, you may need to see a counselor. Thank you. 451. I'm not good at reading these things here, but thank you. Thank you for the love and support, guys. You know, I'm feeling kind of tired myself. The moment I began to read Aquarius, I started to get really tired. Okay. Let's see. Give me more for Aquarius. You have to remember to take care of yourself, Aquarius. You have to remember to eat right is what I'm hearing. Um, you have to remember to take care of your body, Aquarius. Whatever money that um, you're waiting on, you're waiting on something, Aquarius, and it is coming and it's going to push you. I feel like this money is going to push you into a new cycle. Also, remember that you need your rest because your rest is very important at this time because you're going to be coming into something. 
where I feel like you're going to be working a lot. Whatever money you're getting, you're going to be using this money. It could be the stimulus money. You're going to be using this money to propel yourself into a new cycle, okay? Because something old is dying within you and something new is being reborn at this time, Aquarius. Need more for Aquarius here with the ending of this cycle. The end of this cycle for Aquarius. What's what's coming for Aquarius? You're walking into your soulmate. I don't know how the money is gonna help you walk into your soulmate, but it's gonna push you to find your soulmate. Or whatever this is that you're going to be doing, if it's pertaining to work, it's going to it's gonna it's gonna set you free and it's what your soul needs to keep moving Aquarius if it's a career it's something it's, it's something that is going to it's going to put you in touch with yourself again Yo, wait a minute, Aquarius. Seriously, the 11 11 card. You guys are definitely going to be coming in, meeting a soulmate. Something you're waiting. Oh, wait a minute. I need to find out how is Aquarius going to meet this soulmate? How is the money going to help Aquarius meet this soulmate? It's going to help you to make a decision, something that's been stagnant. I'm hearing like resources. It's going to give you resources to move forward. For some of you, you are trapped in a situation and you need to move forward, but you don't have the finances to do so. And the finances is going to push you where you need to be so that you can find your soulmate or whatever it is your soul is yearning for. Yeah, Aquarius. I'm seeing like a better job for you all. I'm seeing you able to take care of your children and the people around you. I see you like, first of all, this is like a woman. Um, it could be vice versa, but I see a woman. I see a woman who is able to provide for her children. She's an outstanding mother, lovable mother. You know, she gets the job done and you're going to be able to get things done Aquarius, um, for those of you who want children, this is a perfect time to do so. But I'm also hearing like people who need money to be able to conceive, to be able to find a donor and things like that. You're going to be able to do this at this time. You're going to have the money. For some of you, it will be a child who is a soulmate. You know, we have many soulmates in many different forms. Um, but you're going to be you're you're going to find that aquarius at this time and don't stress about money get your rest because there is going to be a time when you are going to be working hard and you're going to need all of the rest that you need and this is a spiritual time for you so you're going to have to connect to the other realm so it's important to sleep try not to argue try not to stress too much try not to worry about money and how all of these things are going to get done because it's going to get done because it's in your favor and it's coming for you everything is going to work out for you aquarius you just have to believe you have to have faith um what i'm hearing is that you guys need a lot of reassurance at this time during your sleep state is when you are going to be able to have the reinsurance. Some of you are like fighting your sleep. Maybe you feel guilty for sleeping because you feel like you have so many other things to, you know, get done that you don't have time to sleep, to rest. No, Aquarius, you've got to rest. You've got to recuperate because you're coming into a new cycle. And this new cycle is going to be beneficial for your soul. So if something is beneficial for your soul, it's going to propel you on your life path or on your journey, on this big journey you are getting ready to go on. You're going on a journey, Aquarius. And in order to be ready for this journey, you got to be rested. You got to feel good. Your mind has to be clear. You have to meditate. You have to pray. Okay, Aquarius? You, you really... You got to relax yourself. You have to, like, chill out. Like, you're giving yourself anxiety, man. Like, for real. You got to just chill. You got to chill, Aquarius. <clears throat> More for Aquarius here. You're going to be receiving help. 
like for some of you who felt like maybe somebody wasn't helping you, they're going to be helping you. You weren't being helped in the past. Especially, maybe you feel like um, something with the family, okay? Something with the household. You felt like somebody wasn't helping you. But now you're going to be receiving all of the help that you need. I feel like everything is just going to be working out in your favor, Aquarius. Everything you prayed for, everything you asked for, everything is going to be working out in your favor. Give me more for Aquarius. More for Aquarius. Divine, okay, divine, divine, divine. So, I feel like you guys have been dealing with a lot of envy lately. People who are envious of you. Maybe that's another reason why you're so tired. Because you're holding on to a lot of these emotions and feelings that don't necessarily belong to you, Aquarius. And that's something I had to learn for myself. By the way, I'm Aquarius too. Um, my sun sign is Aquarius. So, I definitely resonate with this reading. And um, i definitely been feeling tired myself. Um, everything I'm saying has been pertaining to me as well. Okay. Um, envy. A lot of envy. Why is there envy here for Aquarius? Maybe the people that you consider your friends, family, are envious of you. Maybe because you're so blessed and, you know... Maybe you don't see how blessed you are, Aquarius. Maybe you don't realize how the universe just pours tons of blessings out on you and other people are, are envious of it. And you're not seeing it, which is sad because you should see it. You should see how favored you are. That's why if like you're going through like bad times, Aquarius, you really need to pick yourself up and you need to remember who you are. Especially at this time, with everything happening on the planet, Aquarius, you need to remember who you are. By you remembering who you are, and I'm, when I'm saying, like, you're blessed. You don't have to do much, okay? You don't have to do much. People around you, they understand that. You have the community card. And you do have, you, maybe some of you Aquarius are already with a soulmate. I'm also picking that up, too. Maybe you're already with a soulmate. And people can be very um, envious and jealous of that connection that you have. Because you have a family with someone. And if you don't have children with this person yet, it is to come. Maybe adopting children. But this is a family union. A unit, excuse me. Family unit and a union. You have a union with someone. The word is coming out on its own. I'm not even trying. You have a union with someone. You have happiness with someone. There are two loyal people here. Remember to listen to your intuition. Pay attention to the number 35, 18, the number 8, and the number 20. <clears throat> number 18, 2, and 19. Hmm. I feel like maybe Aquarius in your relationship you're being a little bit too rigid with the person that you're with with your partner whoever this person is you need to loosen yourself up a little bit like be free they, like I kind of feel like you're on edge all the time you need to be free you need to loosen up okay Listen to your intuition. When there's owls here, owls represent the subconscious mind. They represent darkness, seeing in the dark. If you can see in the dark, that that is um, corresponding to your third eye. Listen to your intuition. What do you see? What do you feel? You really need to delve and dive in into that subconscious mind. You need to sleep more. You need to write down your dreams. You need to write down what you're feeling. You need, a, you need a journal, like a dream journal and just a journal in general because Aquarius, you're going through so much. I'm feeling like some of you are, are getting like surges of downloads and it's too much to handle sometimes. And some of you, like you don't want to be bothered, bothered with it because it's too much, but you need to adhere to what the universe is saying to you, Aquarius, at this time because the energies are trying to help you. But there's something about this relationship, a deeper connection than 
what I think it's a deeper connection than what you understand it to be. You and your partner don't even under really understand what kind of connection you have at this time. And that is why there is so much envy around your relationship. For some of you, there's a lot of problems around your relationship. And for some of you, you probably want to give up on this relationship because of the amount of problems that's in this relationship. But you need to loosen up. You need to help one another. You're not really helping one another the best, the best of your abilities. Some of you are dealing with the Leo. Some of you are dealing with Aquarius, the Pisces, a Taurus, um, or Scorpio. You gotta listen to your intuition. All the car listen, Aquarius, the bottom line, the, the major, the key major message here for you right now. Your intuition is what is going to guide you through all of your problems. Hear me. Your intuition, Aquarius, wherever you have Aquarius placed, your intuition is going to guide you through everything that you are going through right now at this moment. You need a moment to yourself. You need a moment to just rest, collect yourself so that you can listen to your intuition. A lot of people don't know how to listen to their intuition. A lot of people don't know how to calm and tame the thoughts of the mind. You just gotta relax, Aquarius. You gotta feel that gut feeling in your stomach. You have to feel your chakras tingling. It's not always gas, it's not always a headache. These are the energies moving in your body. Sometimes you have to allow yourself to feel these things. You have to close your eyes and see things. What do you see? You have to listen to those small, tiny, almost minute whispers and hear them. What are they saying? You're not crazy, Aquarius. If you check my YouTube page, Earth Divine 360 Tarot, I do a lot of videos for Aquarius because Aquarius, you guys have been going through something since, I want to say, since last year. Okay, and I've been doing readings trying to help you guys to get you guys to where you need to go. Aquarius, you have to pay attention to the signs. They are in, they are in front of you. Like I say to all of my Aquarius, our purpose in life is different. If you have Aquarius in your chart, your purpose is different from everyone else's. It's a more sensitive purpose you are sensitive to things i don't know why it's like that but the universe made it that way and you have to listen you have to listen pay attention to what you're hearing seeing and feeling with your five senses aquarius it is very important at this time that is where you're going to find your strength aquarius that is that's where you're going to get that strength from and the strength is going to help you to conquer everything that it is that you need to conquer whatever it is it doesn't matter but like i said for some of you you're in a twin flame soulmate relationship already and i don't think some of you know that or some of you don't realize that but for some of you your relationship is like attacked you have everything you want and need but your relationship is being attacked Yeah, what did I just say? You're with your soulmate. You're with your soulmate, Aquarius. Y'all are with your soulmates. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Some of you are with your soulmate physically already. Okay? Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as an ocean. So there's someone who really loves you, Aquarius. There's someone who loves you so much. But I feel like they're having a problem communicating it because like in my throat area, I'm feeling like, you know, that choked up feeling like they, they choke on their words. Like they're not able to really tell you how they feel. And it's sad because it's a block. Like what I feel is like a block right there in the throat area. So somebody's throat chakra is really blocked. Um, I suggest that you burn blue candles so you can help you or yourself. <laughs> you or yourself. Oh my God, I'm tired. <laughs> yourself or your partner. 
unblock the throat chakra oh my god you guys gotta forgive me okay help your partner or yourself to unblock their throat chakra using a blue candle <laughs> Some of you need to surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. So there is something that you guys need to let go of. Now it could be a person that is blocking you from your soulmate or it could be things or other other things other people blocking you from the connection with your soulmate like i said there's a lot of envy so a lot of you are already being blocked in the relationship although you're in a relationship with your soulmate because some of you are not realizing that this person is your soulmate and you two are supposed to be together doing divine work for you know for the universe together as a union okay me more on the soulmate connection for them like i said you're not really speaking up someone's not speaking up on you know how they feel or there's like um if i it's like if i do one thing for you then you have to do something for me it's not you guys aren't fully loving each other like pure love like I love you because I love you. I'm not doing these things for you because I want you to do something back for me. Once again, there's a block on somebody's throat because I'm feeling like my voice is about to go away. It's, it's hurting me to talk. It's hurting someone to communicate their feelings. Someone is really not in touch with their feelings and how they feel. And the reason why they're not is because they don't love themselves enough. They have forgotten how to love themselves. So, you know, we're all a reflection of ourselves. You know, so if someone is lacking something within themselves, they're not going to be able to give it to you, Aquarius. So at this time, I suggest loving yourself first. 